covered before in a different edition of Up to Speed exactly what the dock does and what it allows you to do. But if we want to add the same functionality that you used to find in the Start menu on your Windows PC, here's what you have to do. If you go up to the hard drive icon in the upper right hand corner of your screen, double click on that, and you'll get in a window that opens known as the Finder window, and you're going to see this folder called Applications. As you might guess, the Applications folder is where all of your programs live in the Mac OS X operating system. Here's what we're going to do. Click on that folder and while still holding down your button, drag it down here to the dock. Over on the right hand side, you're going to see a little bit of a, uh, a line that separates the dock into two segments. Again, we talked about that on our dock basics. But we're going to drop this folder just on the right hand side of that line. You'll notice that the other items will move out of the way. And we'll just drop that in there and you're going to get this icon which is usually for the address book because in the dock the applications folder takes by default the icon of the first program in that folder to represent it. Okay so now once we have this in the dock if we single click on it we're gonna get this whole mess of, of uh, programs that come up and that's not quite the same as what you're used to in Windows but what we're going to do instead, click on the icon one more time to close that, and this time click and hold, and you'll get a list. And you'll notice in the middle of this list it says view content as fan, grid, list, or automatic. We're going to switch that to list, and now when I single click on the applications folder, much like single clicking on start on a Windows machine, I get a list of all my applications, I can pick the one I want, Let's go ahead and pick the dictionary, and it launches just like that. So there you go. That's today's Up to Speed with a Mac tip. Share it with friends. Impress your, uh, your Mac friends, too, with your newfound knowledge on Mac OS X. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.